Hi, I'm Connor. How can I help you today? Hi, I'm Rebleen. How are you? What brought you into the store today? Hi, my name is Serene and how can I help you today? My regular responsibilities as an employee are uh, involved mostly like working with customers, putting stock out, making the ranges look good, making sure everything runs smoothly in store mm -hmm. for the most part. Like, what are yours? I've got uh, two roles. So I'm a casual as well as a acting store manager. So I do the customers as well and the stock replenishment. And I also do open and close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Honestly, same. I'm just a casual, but sometimes I do open and close, but not officially like an acting manager. Yeah. Working in the style world, it's very customer driven, very like getting to know the person you're talking to on a more personal level. It's all about the customer's experience. You have to make sure the customer is happy in the outfit that they purchase because often you try it, you buy it, it's like that turns into a sale most of the time. It's also about what's their vibe at home. We need to talk about interior and all that to understand like well how can I best cater that product to you. Exactly. With customers it's such a personal experience mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You might think oh that's a beautiful piece but someone might look at it and think oh that's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely. And, yeah. and vice subjective. versa like mm -hmm. you, you might love something in a customer will, you know will probably hate it. Exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, Agreed. customer is always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Being you know bottom of the hierarchy, there is some obvious discrepancies in the validation and the acknowledgement you get in store. So my company will do competitions from time to time. The main store that wins this competition, their manager and their regional manager get awarded for it they get trips and gift cards and vouchers and there's nothing for the team members there's a well done team they advertise it as though it's like for you like okay. if you do this you're going to get this but when we actually have uh, accomplished those goals it's like oh yeah the managers are going away yeah. there's not even like that effort to like kind of show that you deserve that trip. Especially sales assistants. We're very underrated and I feel as though that often we're taken advantage of. People believe you're getting paid to do this so you should just do it. Why are you complaining? Some of the biggest misconceptions working in retail is that money equals respect. Mm -hmm. I think it's you're yeah, getting exactly. paid to be here, you should do as you're told. The expectation is open questions all the time. It has to be like, oh, so what brought you in today? However, you can't expect me to say that to every single customer because I understand the vibe of the person. So if they're coming into the store, and they're a bit slow, then I'm going to be like, oh, hi, like, you know, how can I help you? And you know what you're looking for today. But if they're coming in in a rush and they know exactly where the product is, I'm going to be like, let me know if you did any help. You don't go to a store to have a conversation. You go to a store to get what you need and go. Mm -hmm. And having that expectation that you're going to interact with every single customer, be in their face mm. all the time, you feel annoying mm. and you feel guilty. Mm -hmm. But then you feel like you can't feel guilty because it's your job. Mm -hmm. What people don't realise is that we're just workers. I agree with that, especially from like a customer's perspective, that we're pretty much their slave. Like, oh, go get me this. I want this. And I think that, hold on, like... I'm here to help you, but I'm not your slave at the end of the day. And I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> but there are customers that don't expect anything. And it's way better to want to help someone than to have people demanding you to do something. I think my biggest motivational drive to rock up to every single shift is my team. They are the most amazing people I've ever worked with. They've also informed us about psychological support to talk about whatever's happened at work. So I'm just in the best environment for me to fulfill my abilities. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously my team is a massive motivator for me. Uh, there are certain people on my team that I see their name on the roster and I know it's going to be an amazing shift. And another motivator for me, um, which is a little bit more petty, but I want to show my management that I can work at the level they don't think I'm capable of working at. Mm -hmm. I've applied for management, like, you're not worth it, like, you, you can't do it. And I want to go in there every single shift and show them that they made a mistake by saying no to me. Mm -hmm. And I do, every shift. <laughs> yeah, and you should always strive to do better every day. And that's good that you're motivated to fulfill that. 
going into my job, I wasn't necessarily expecting to form the relationships mm. that I did with these people, especially because they're at totally different stages of their lives. And it's funny, but I see some of them as like a second mother and the advice that they give me is honestly something that I would keep for life. Mm -hmm. Even if it's traveling like an hour to work, if you work with girls that you love, then it's worth it. Thank you for shopping with us. Receipts in the bag. Have a good day.